In this video, I'm gonna be teaching you a way to create simple route combinations that will beat every single defense that you will face in Madden. And we're gonna be talking today about horizontal passing. And I thought I would show this by using a simple concept out of the trips tight end that has been good for years and will continue to be good in Madden 23. Now, if you are new to the channel, my name is Cody. We do videos every single day to help people become better Madden players. And these are kind of route concepts I'm gonna get into in this video that you're gonna need to have in your arsenal no matter what playbook you run you need to have no matter what formation you run you need to have these kind of horizontal stretches that will basically attack every single zone um, in the game now with that being said this is a critical concept for madden 23 and the reason why is because madden 23 um, is going to be more of a horizontal approach to passing at least in my opinion and i'm gonna give you my favorite horizontal passing concept in this video out of the trips tight end formation now if you're watching this video and you want to learn more about the trips tight end make sure to join my patreon that's where you can get all of my uh, trips tight end offensive ebooks and all the other ebooks that i have in madden as we head into madden 23 these ebooks in my personal opinion are the best way to learn how to play the game at a really high level that being said the link to that is in the description if you want to grab that and today we're taking a look at a concept out of the trips tight end formation and we're going to just use the play verticals this is a good year in and year out really the only reason we're using the play verticals is for the corner route on the left side of the screen if you prefer you could use a play like drive post uh, but everything else will be done via hot routes now with this specific play, I personally prefer to have my trips to the wide side of the field. There are alternate ways to run this um, to the short side of the field, but I personally prefer my trips to the wide side of the field for this in particular concept. And it's really simple. All we're going to do is we're going to put our outside receiver from left to right. We're gonna put Mike Evans on a zig route. We're going to put Scotty Miller on a hitch. We're going to put Chris Godwin on a curl. And then on the right side of the screen, um, you have a couple of different things that you can do. What I like to do is just wheel my running back. Now this wheel route in Madden 23 is kind of a little bit more like a streak or a seam wheel that you might see from Bunch. It's really good with this concept because you can snap throw it against man and it's gonna cut up field really nicely against zone. Now really our primary read is the left side and the route that we're gonna throw the majority of the time is this curl right here to Chris Godwin. As you can see right there, just a simple play and being able to attack the cover four. Now, like I said, I like this play to be able to attack every coverage in the game. So this is a cover four with our coverage shaded down, trying to get underneath and stop some of those underneath concepts. And what you'll see with this is, as you can see our hitch on the left side, can be open really it's just a simple um you know two-man game on the left and a two-man game on the right if you will and then you have kind of a, a back breaker route in the middle of the field with this curl to the circle receiver now if you see something like this this does probably mean that they could be in man-to-man -man coverage and the way that i like to attack man-to-man -man coverage from essentially the same basic perspective and keeping the same integrity on my routes is i'm going to instead of putting godwin on a curl i'm going to put him on a smart routed in and what you'll see with this smart routed in is when it cuts to the inside it'll get open another thing you'll notice is that this tight end corner is going to do a really good job at attacking man-to-man -man. they basically can't use her the left and the right side of the field so they have to kind of choose in this example we're gonna put a purple zone over here to stop this wheel. And what that's going to leave open is it's going to leave open this dig right on the inside cut, right in that little pocket right there. So this is a great way that I like to attack man and zone. Now, another thing that I wanna walk you through in just a second is we'll show you some blitzes, but just wanna go through the rest of the coverages. This is a cover three coverage. And again, we're forcing a double flat, if you will, on the right. They have to have a high, you basically have a high low right so they have to have a hard flat and a curl flat or a mabel coverage of some type so when they start to do something like that where they're gonna have a hard flat and then they're gonna take this other guy and they're gonna put him in a curl flat let's just say something you know something like this if you will this is really important to understand so when they start to do this what you can do with this play is just streak the running back 
instead of wheel him. And what you'll get now is those flat zones can't really defend it, and he's going to get up into the seam of the defense. This is also why I really like the seam wheel, because it attacks the flats and the seams within one specific route. Now, in my opinion, the best coverage to defend this is the cover two defense. But what you'll see here with this cover two is it gives us a really good opportunity to attack the cover two zone on the right side. Why? Because we have that cloud flat is now in a ton of conflict. Another thing about the cover two that we can actually do to kind of attack a cover two style coverage while still keeping the same integrity of the play is something like this where we're gonna streak this circle receiver. And what you'll see with this is a lot of times you can pass like this to the inside and potentially get a user catch. Now right there, the deep half did play really well, but I'm just saying those are some, that's sometimes an option that you can explore. And that being said, I wanted to take just a few minutes, a few additional minutes to talk about cover two blitzes. Cover two blitzes, I think are gonna be the most popular style of blitz that you're going to see in Madden 23. And the gist of the blitz is this. We're going to have two yellow zones on these sides here, and then we're going to blitz these guys. Now, one really important caveat is this defender is a user or this defender is user. Now, generally speaking, it's probably going to be this guy. But anyways, one of those guys is a user defender, and so you just want to basically throw away from the user. But what you'll see here is if they blitz this slot corner, well, now I got a really simple read over here on this left side if that's not the user defender. However, let's say that the user defender jets out there to stop that, um, that little spacing concept, if you will, or horizontal concept on the right side. So you get something that essentially looks like this, okay? So now over here, I've got a curl, and then I'm gonna come over here and I'm just gonna you know, just pretend that this is my user. So over here, I now have a high low. Well, what you'll see with this coverage, especially cover two, is this corner route on the right should do a decent job. Now, I don't know why the soft squat played that. You could also have thrown the wheel right there, but basically you're just reading the, the, the cloud flat. If he goes back, then you throw the other route. And I'll show you that one more time here to make kind of a, a, a little bit more of an illustration here. So again, I wanna show you a soft squat. Soft squats are gonna be, I think, the best zone, at least to start Madden 23 on the outside. They're really good. But what you'll see here is if he doesn't jet down to the flat, we can throw that and get our get our five to seven yards, and we're going to keep our offense on schedule. Now, let's just say, for example, that they are going to blitz you from man to man in this, in this look. So this guy is going to be in man coverage on the tight end. And now over here, we're going to get man coverage from this guy. We're going to get man coverage from this guy. This is probably going to be the user. And then this guy is going to be on the running back. Now, just to illustrate how you could beat a man-to-man -man blitz from the same basic uh, principle is you're just going to wheel the running back. Now, again, if we knew it was man, we would do some other things. But basically right here, this is fine. And all you're going to do is you're going to hit your wheel. Okay. Or if the tight end is open there, we got a little bit of a man switch, um, which is kind of interesting. But, you know, just do something simple like this. Now, again, you have to understand they're going to probably blitz this guy off the edge. If they're going to send a man blitz, it's going to be something to this extent. So just imagine, you know, I'm going to reman these guys up just to try to make make this a little bit more straightforward. But you have to understand that there's no press coverage on these linebackers over here or on these uh, receivers. So, you know, you can throw your curl right off rip. You can also throw your corner route. So if you do get this man switch, you can just throw that right there. Or again, you're just going to it's just a simple read. So. Um, you're just looking over there on that side of the field. If they do blitz you, that's probably the best side to attack just because um, it's quick and easy. The route combos over here, you could also do something like this if you wanted to, but I personally prefer the hitch. And then if you wanted to use this dig, I just want to show you one of the last thing about this. Why I like this little smart routed in, or if you wanted to put him on a slant, you could. Just these little quick routes, they're still going to suck those yellows in. They're actually going to make it a little bit easier of a read because your hitch is going to be a little bit more consistently open. Let's say that we're in a cover two defense. So if I'm in a cover two and, you know, I put this guy on a smart route to dig, again, you'll see here that now you see how he, still, see how he kind of sucks that vert hook inside. That's a really good feature of the dig. So you can utilize the dig. Like I said, my favorite thing to do, if I know that it's made a man, 
I really like to do something essentially like this. It's really simple, but these double in routes, um, and if you wanted to, you could put them at like a, you could do something like this. This is a very simple way to beat man to man, but these two in routes are really good and they're really good at Madden 23 as well. You just wanna make sure to cut them off, but that is a great little concept. This concept is very simple. You could do this out of any formation. You could do this out of with any routes really, but what it does for you is it, again, it spreads the field, it spaces the field in a way that makes it almost impossible for the defense to stop everything that you put on the field. This is going to allow you to be able to just read the defense and essentially attack everything that they can do. I want to thank you for watching the video. And if you want to learn more about the trip side in offense, make sure to join our Patreon. That's where you can get access to our full trip side in offensive ebook. As in addition to that, also our Madden 23 uh, beta ebooks that we're going to be releasing here in a couple of days. And also all of our additional content as we move to Madden 23 season. Thanks for watching the video. And if you want to sign up for the Patreon, head down to the description of the video and click the link down below.